First, let us start with uh, Statistics Canada, the results uh, out today. This is the 2011 survey that was done. You probably received one at your home. And what they've discovered in tabulating all the information is that the concept of family is not what it was in the 50s and 60s when the typical family consisted of a mother, a father, and 2.5 or 3 children, all living under one roof. Well, according to the latest census from Stats Canada, common law relationships, single parent families are on the increase. To give us a more detailed understanding of what this means, uh, we're joined by Jennifer Reynolds, Editor-in-Chief of Canadian Family Magazine. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Sandy. So what did you take away from this? Uh, is there a typical Canadian family now? There is no typical Canadian family. There's almost as many definitions of a Canadian family as there are people in families nowadays. So um, we definitely know that uh, things are changing. I think it's very exciting to know that there are um, now more step families being counted. This is the first time ever in the census that they've been counted so we can learn a lot more about step families and we can understand what the right programs are and, and uh, for these families too. Uh, more step families, more couples choosing common law, certainly uh, gay unions. In, in, in the issue of, uh, in the area of couples choosing common laws over marriage, is there any understanding of why that may be happening? Um, it could be related to the economic situation. Uh, I think we'll, we'll learn more about why in the next little while, but I think this information is really helpful for, um, for all kinds of institutions who are doing programming for families, and uh, just knowing this information is huge. Yeah, that is, that is so true. Uh, governments do decide which uh, policies to implement based on, on what the census tells them, and that's why it's so critical for everyone to fill them out. Uh, single parenting on the rise certainly suggests more divorces or That's people right. choosing to have babies on their own, right? That's right. And now we're seeing that there's even more couples that are not married than there are married. So I think that is a big deal as well, too, in, in all of Canada. More couples not married than are married. Okay. And also uh, aging baby boomers, if you will. More couples living on their own and children leaving home. So more older couples. That's right, um, and we're finding there's still um, a significant amount of 20-somethings living at home. Um, they say that the most common 20-something to be living at home is uh, a male under 24 um, still living at home, and I think that really speaks to what's going on in our economic system right now, too, and, and with the, the jobs that are pretty scarce out there. Yeah, and not, and not just males. I, I would venture out there, and I don't think I'd, it would be a radical suggestion that children, period, into their late 20s, some even 30s, who may be you know changing jobs or getting out of relationships are coming home so it used to be the empty nesters now you know the whole concept of keeping a house full may not be so unreasonable right that's right we're noticing a lot more blended families um, happening and yes households with many different families living together too so that it was definitely reflected on the census and more and more same-sex couples tying the knot nearly tripling between 2006 and 2011 no That's surprise right. there yes no not a surprise too and it could be because it is um, a lot easier and a lot more accepted for that to happen too so that uh, is it's nice to see those numbers reflected now we have a really good understanding of, of what the face of Canadian families really are. We also learned that there's more um, of the same-sex couples, there's more children that are living in the homes with two female partners than with two male partners. Not surprising, but again, it's just great to see that information coming out. Okay. Jennifer, thanks so much. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Sandy.